Hi, welcome. So this video is a short video on how to use the RSS module. Let's jump straight in. Click on to the RSS. Bottom left hand corner here, add RSS feeds. You could add as many as you want. I'm just going to add six in for now. Those feeds have now been saved successfully, sync to the cloud. Now, to interact with them, you want to click on the icons, and that will now populate the articles and a little preview of the article on the right hand side. These icons here allow you to share them straight out to either of these platforms. So if you want to share this article to Twitter or Facebook, if you click on that right now, actually I'm in a demo account, so it's I don't have the, uh, I'm not connected into anything so that it's not going to work. This would, this would be the Facebook share. I'm sure you're all, you know, you know how, you know how that works. Very straightforward. Okay. It would pre-populate the article for you and you'd share it straight out to any of these social platforms. Now, if you want to save this article for later, if you might want to do some outreach, you click on the last link here, outreach, and then that will save it for you. And that will be saved in the outreach section over here for you. So if you want to interact with the most popular content, you have the options up here. Each time you click on it, we can order it by Pinterest. This is the most popular con um, article on Pinterest in this feed. Buffer, um, Reddit, if there are any, doesn't look like there are any Reddits. Facebook shares, and you get the picture. If you have RSS feeds from YouTube, you can add them in here as well, and it will order by the views, the ratings, and the average ratings. Okay, so very quickly, um, what this here is, is a way for you to interact later on with each one of these links. So I'm gonna go into a little bit more detail in the outreach module and how that works, but just to show you where that has gone, that has gone in here to the outreach module so that you can then interact with this later on, and we'll get into that in another video. All right, that's how you use the RSS module. And again, if you wanna look at the article, which I don't think I've said yet, aside from being able to see a preview in here, if you wanna interact with it in the browser, just click on the article link there and it will take you directly to the browser so that you could have a proper bit of research, go over the article if you're not familiar with it, you want to learn a little bit more about them, you wanna find their social, platforms, you want to go interact with them socially, so on and so forth. Again, strategy, we'll get into that in other videos that are going to be in the users and members area at a later date. We're not going to get into that just yet. So um, right now, we're just talking about how to use each one of these modules within Chameleon. Okay, I hope that's helpful. And I will see you in the next video.